who is ready for some story? Story time with sound. <laughs> well, if you're not, tough shit. Because I'm, I'm telling you guys a story. <laughs> yeah, so Sonic CD, I, um, I never played it at the time. I never owned a Mega CD. I didn't own a Mega CD until... I want to say... 2004 and I think that was possibly the first time I played it uh, maybe a year or two after I did see I do seem to remember playing it on the PC uh, at some point maybe in the early noughties but I can't remember for sure either way I did not play this until well after it came out well after it came out now I don't know if this is in my trivia so I'm gonna uh, this is just off the top of my head. I can't remember if this is actually true or not. But the, the general gist was um, Sonic 2 was made by Sega of, Sega of America. And Sonic CD was made by Sega of Japan. And used it, was, it used the Sonic 1 engine for the most part. Whereas Sonic 2, as you could see, was you know quite a bit different. It, felt, it feels a lot different anyway, control-wise. But yeah, if I remember correctly, uh, Sonic 2 was Sega of America, Sonic CD is Sonic uh, Sega of Japan, basically. But yeah, anyway, story. Here we go. Uh, for one month out of the year, an enigmatic miniature celestial body called the Little Planet appears over the enormous Never Lake, both a place of beauty and wonder. It is said that time moves freely on the planet and that entire uh, sceneries can change in a blink of an eye. All because of the mysterious secret they hold, the seven mystical time stones. So not emeralds, time stones. It is said that whoever possesses these gems will be able to freely move through time just as the surface of Little Planet does. Almost expectantly, the news of such a place grabs the attention of Dr. Eggman, the mad genius who desires nothing more than world domination. Journeying to the Little Planet, Eggman immediately begins turning it into his personal fortress, littering the landscape with his mechanical genius. Powered not by animals, but by the essence of flowers, he sets his army to tear the planet apart so that he can claim the Time Stones for himself. As fate would have it, Sonic the Hedgehog, the speedy blue blur who has stopped Eggman time and again, was also intending on seeing the small miracle planet, oblivious to the fact Eggman had already beaten him to the locale. Learning of the news that Sonic was fast approaching, Eggman only smiled, excited to put his latest and greatest invention up against the Hedgehog confident that he would finally be able to defeat his arch enemy once and for all. Arriving at Never Lake, Sonic immediately could tell that something was amiss. The little planet, which should have been a shining example of natural beauty, was instead covered in a mechanical wasteland, visible even from the distance he was at. Seeing that the small planet was tethered to the Earth's surface, Sonic ex uh, examined... Wait, ex wait, what? Sonic climbed the mountainside the chain was connected to, Recognising the visage etched into the surface, with the image of Eggman's face smiling at him, Sonic confirmed what he was already expecting. Jumping onto the chain, Sonic quickly darted up, speeding towards the surface of the little planet and preparing to face Eggman once more. What might have otherwise been another simple fight against the genius scientist was immediately complicated by another layer that Sonic only discovered once he set foot in Palm Tree Panic. Amy Rose, Sonic's biggest fan and self-proclaimed girlfriend, had been doing what she often did, playing around with her tarot cards in an attempt to look into the future. The cards telling her that she had a destined encounter with Sonic at Never Lake. She journeyed herself to the little planet, immediately becoming excited once she spotted her blue idol. None too pleased with Amy's appearance, she may have been nothing more than a slight bother if not for Eggman's intervention. At the outskirts of Collision Chaos, Sonic received his first glimpse of Metal Sonic, a robotic duplicate that Eggman created specifically to counter Sonic's every move. In the blink of an eye, the robot snatched up Amy, disappearing into the horizon. Now Sonic must not only stop Dr. Eggman and grab the Time Stones before he does, but save Amy Rose from the clutches of his metallic doppelganger. And then it's got in quotes, No problem! With a little courage, you can do anything! And that's, uh, I think that's in relation to the song that plays in the intro. Unfortunately, the version I'm playing does not have the uh, lyrics for the Japanese European version. So we're going to be playing the uh, US music. 
as that still has the the right stuff in it. Now, uh, as far as trivia goes, uh, all seven of the game's rounds have alliterative names. So, Palm Tree Panic, uh, Collision Chaos, Stardust Speedway, etc. Uh, this was the first Sonic game available for the PC. Uh, in the Sonic Gems collection version of Sonic CD, the water in the game is clear. This is because it's a direct port of the PC version, which utilised a certain graphics card for the water, which was not emulated. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, Xbox One version is uh, emulating, actually. Be interesting to see that. Sonic CD is the first uh, in the Sonic game series to feature animated cutscenes, which were produced by Toei, uh, with cooperation from Studio Junio. I don't know who Studio Junio is, but I think we all know who uh, Toei is, don't we? The animated short that introduces the Mega CD version of Sonic CD is substantially shorter than the intro in the PC and GameCube ports, as well as the Sega Saturn Sonic Jam video, but animates slower. So yeah, the, the, the Mega CD version is, is way worse. If you've ever seen FMV on Mega CD, you know how bad it is. It's not very good at all. <laughs> the uncut intro shows more of Sonic running through the landscape and over a lake. Strangely, a very small cut, about two seconds of footage, of the mountainside that Dr. Robotnik uses to tether the little planet down, which has a massive carving of Robotnik's face on it, is missing from the uncut intros, but present in the Mega CD version. There is also a short segment missing from the ending FMV of the Mega CD version that was restored in Sonic Jam and Sonic Mega Collection. This infamous segment is viewed in its original form at the pencil test. I actually don't know what part that is. Oh god, this is going to make you like... This might make you laugh slash cringe, but listen to this. So the cover of the Japanese box art contains a message. To live a life of power, you must have faith that what you believe is right. Even if others tell you you're wrong, the first thing you must do is live a life of power. To live a life of power is to find courage. You must be ready to reach beyond the boundaries of time itself. And to do that, all you need is the will to take that first step. <laughs> like you don't you don't expect to have like life lessons on the front of a bo of a Sega Saturn, uh, sorry, a, a Mega CD box, do you? You really don't. Um, the prologue in the North American instruction manual is almost identical to its European counterpart. However, in the North American Sega CD version, Amy Rose is named Princess Sally. This was done to tie in with the television show in which Sally was the lead heroine. The, mo uh, the manual describes the character as a young hedgehog, whereas in the television show, President Sally, uh, Pri Princess Sally sorry, is a squirrel. This alteration is not present in the PC release where she is named Amy. Um... This was the first Sonic game to include centiseconds in the time as opposed to just minutes and seconds. Others would follow such as Sega 32X's Knuckles Chaotix as well as all of the competition race stages in Sonic 3. In the Japanese and European Mega CD versions, the band ending has the text Try again and save Little Planet forever. In the North American release, the second line was removed resulting in simply Try again. In Sonic Adventure, when Amy is remembering the good old days, Sonic is seen rescuing Amy from metal in her daydream fantasy. This is probably her remem remembering scenes from Sonic CD. However, in the flashback, Amy doesn't retain her old school design and Sonic will, ha will have any upgrades he's acquired by that point. Most likely the programmers did not bother to create a new character model of Amy's old design for use in one cutscene. Yes, it is, Alvin. <laughs> This is the second Sonic game with voices, the first being Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. That is the one game that I've had to miss out so far because I could not, um, I could emulate it properly, I couldn't control it. Uh, when Sonic does one of two actions, such as remaining idle for three minutes, Sonic will shout, I'm out of here, and jump off the screen, resulting in a game over. Or when getting an extra life, Sonic will shout, yes. In the US version, when the words game over appear on the screen, evil laughing can be heard, presumably Robotnik's. In Palm Tree Panic, if Amy grabs Sonic, she will giggle, and when she is grabbed by Metal Sonic in Collision Chaos Street, she yipes. And then uh, most of the sprites for Sonic came from Sonic the Hedgehog, with the exception of some, such as the Super Peel Out, Spring Jumps, and the 3D images from the beginning of Palm Tree Panic, Wacky Workbench, and Metallic Madness. 
This is the first game in which Sonic runs with his arms held out backwards, either by using the super peel out or moving at fast enough speed. So, um, confirmed, Naruto stole from Sonic CD. In the animated cutscene, Sonic's shoes have the gold buckles on the sides, but the buckles don't appear during the gameplay. In the Japanese and European versions of the Invincibility music, if one listens closely, a countdown could be heard near the end, starting from 5 to 1 after 1 the power-up ends. Uh, we're not going to be able to hear that because I'm going to be playing the US soundtrack. Uh, this game is represented in Sonic Generations, as is you know a lot of them. Metal Sonic appears as a rival boss of the classic era in both the home and portable versions. Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2 has a strong connection to this game as Little Planet returns to Sonic's world and is Dr. Eggman's plan once again to completely mechanize it. Mechanize it sorry. Also, Metal Sonic returns directly from this appearance as a boss and is the, seek, uh, the secondary villain in the game. This is the first game to utilize a game save feature. Thank God for that. And then finally, uh, when Amy is encountered in Palm Tree Panic, she will only hug Sonic if he is facing the opposite direction. Amy will bounce off Sonic if she tries to hug him while he has a shield. And there you go. Some random facts. <laughs> Who doesn't like a random fact? Possibly all of you. <laughs> Alright, let me just uh, change myself over to the uh, the main screen here. Got a fair bit of changing to do here. Uh, that's the one. This might look a bit strange, guys, because... I'm actually doing it 16 by 9 because Sonic CD on the um, the Xbox is it's widescreen compatible. They they changed it to be widescreen in this release of the game. There it is. Oh no worries, Alvin. Thanks, man. Yeah, no, I don't think I think it'll be fine now. You know, touch wood. There should should be no more faults. There we go. Have a good one, though, dude. Oh, yeah, got to change that over. Sorry. There you go. Right, we're good. We're good to start. Sega! Hopefully, that'll be the right sound as well. Oh, really? Scroll? I, I think Metal Sonic is better than Mecha Sonic. Well, hang on. Loud. Because actually, we need to we need to discern which is which. Because so I think the one in Sonic Two that we just fought is Silver Sonic. The one in Sonic CD is Metal Sonic, right? Which one's Mecha Sonic? Oh no, that's it. Okay, here we go. Right. So this is this is the official thing on it. So the Sonic in Sonic 2 on the Master System, that's Silver Sonic. The one we just fought in Sonic 2 is Mecha Sonic, as is the Sonic and Knuckles one. Okay, yeah, so hang on a minute. Yeah, okay, so is Metal Sonic just uh, Sonic CD then? I oh, know, he's, he's, he's been in a few games, but... Okay, right. God, it's a bit of a mishmash. See, actually, most of them are Mecha Sonic. That's kind of interesting. Complicated, but interesting. They have to make it complicated, don't they? 
let's switch over here. See, so yeah, this has got a nice fancy menu because this is uh, this is done by the guys that did. Well, it's uh, Christian Whitehead who did uh, a, a whole bunch of the work on Sonic Mania. Yeah, so US soundtrack. Because uh, I want to get the opening. Let's see. Video filter. Nostalgia. Uh, but I'm going to have it how it was meant to be. So it's meant to look like that. It's not meant to look like the Sonic 2 one. I think the, the nostalgia one is what I want. And then, yeah. Same as usual, as you'd expect. Right, now if you haven't seen this intro, uh, I, I absolutely adore this opening. I think everyone's probably seen it by now because I've banged on about it like 17 billion times already. But just in case you haven't... Here you go. I wish they'd make an animated series that looks like this. She looks so cool in this one. And obviously this is where the raid uh, song comes from as well. So you can sort of see the story that I just described. You can kind of see here like what the Miracle Planet looks like and everything. I think it's a cool idea. Like, obviously it makes zero sense. But, like a planet that disappears. Uh, I think it disappears after a month. Like for a month and then it comes back. They're like a little mini planet chained to a planet. I think that's a cool. Uh, I think that's a cool idea. Right. So here we go. Yeah. No. Um. No animals in this one, as you can see. They when you beat an enemy, they turn into a flower. As they do, you know. And some, look, look at those fancy Mega CD effects. And the music, like, is super good in this. And we'll see our first foray into the past. Yeah, so the big thing with this game, and it, it means that the layouts are really strange, is that, um, yeah, you can go into the past. And the whole point of the game is to go into the past to defeat Robotnik's machine. So that he can't corrupt the future. So basically you can go to the uh, future. If you go to the future now when the machine's still there. It's still uh, mechanised. It looks uh, it's all like robotic and stuff. If you go back into the past. Destroy the um, machine. And then go to the future. You've got. It will look like really nice and green in this example. But one of the main concerns that a lot of people have with this game. Is that the. The level layout is incredibly strange because you've essentially got three uh, different tile sets for the same level. And they're all like overlaid over the top of each other. It looks like a bit of a mess sometimes, honestly. It can really look like a mess. Um, I don't know where the um, machines are, by the way. 
so I'm going in pretty blind with this. Ah, there's one. So this is one of them. So we've got we've got a good future for this stage now. And I think the um, special stages of rings again. Yeah. So yeah, Sonic made a good future in Zone One. So to get the best ending, you have to get uh, good futures, and you have to collect all the time stones as well. And we'll see. We'll now see what the special stages look like. Because this shit was impressive as fuck back in the day. So the dealie here is you've got to try and hit all these UFOs. I still think this looks quite good, honestly. Like that kind of like Mode 7 look. There we go. Man, the music is so good. I, I like both. The I think the Japanese and the US soundtracks are great. You both, you can't fault either of them. Uh, I also remember, I think we're back to three stages in this now. Three uh, three acts per, per stage, sorry. Damn. You see that I lost the, uh, the future thing as well, so if you... Um, if you get up to that speed where you see the, uh, the, like, the sparks are shining out the back, you have to maintain that speed for like five seconds or so, otherwise you uh, lose it. So ideally you want to find a good place with uh, where you can just gather some speed, which is easier said than done. See if I can find one here. No, see that not. See that? That, that? that doesn't make sense, does it? Why is there something pointing up there? Why are there rings in the wall? And that's because, uh, like in the past or the future somewhere, there's, there's not a wall there. That's why the layouts in this game can look really, really confusing sometimes. Oh, here we go. This should do it. There you go. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. Every um, like the good, the every like the past, the future, and the present all have different music too. How impressive is that? I went to all of that, all of that effort. I think that's cool. Oh shit, went back to the future again. No, uh, it's the um, it's the US one, Super. Basically because I wanted the lyrics in the opening and they're not in the opening for this version of the game. Unfortunately. That's another time stone. Oh shit, yeah, you can, I forgot you can like trip over stuff as well. Oh man! 
In later levels, I think you can fall off the side as well, just to make things more uh, difficult. Come on! Wait, did I run out of time? Oh shit. <laughs> That appropriate music there. Kara! <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you so much. How's it going, guys? Welcome in. Yeah, I'll go uh, well, it was going good, dude. I had I've had some technical problems tonight. Which uh which caused about a half an hour delay. But otherwise, very, very good. Thanks, uh Little dog homie, thank you. Thank you very much. Was that you following? Thank you. Thank you for the follow. I hope you're doing well. Did um did Carrot look after you? I'm sure he did. Let's give the let's give our boy a shout out. What have you been playing? Oh, Siege. Okay, guys, if you haven't done so already, please give my friend Mr. Gold Carrot a follow. Uh, the man is legend. I met up with him again yesterday. It was super fun to meet him again. Uh, I feel like I had a good time. It was a bit. We had a slow start. Carrot's much more social than I am. I was a bit shy at first. Should have should have just got in there straight away. We know for next time though. <laughs> yeah, my name is uh, Sound Shower. You can call me Sound or Tom. I'm a variety streamer too. I have lots and lots of games. Uh, I think just over two thousand now. I think we're up to. That's physical games. Uh, big anime fan. If you like anime, feel free to talk about that. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm uh, I'm old, oldish for a gamer. I'm 33. <laughs> I'm a shy boy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've got 2,000. I think actually I'm nearly up to 2,100 physical games. I think. Is there? F uh, no, super no. Uh, Sonic CD only got a physical release on PC and. Mega CD and technically Sonic Gems collection. Yeah, I, dude, I've been collecting for years, honestly, man. I, I've been collecting since the like the early two thousands, basically. Yeah, I don't have as much as, as many consoles, Stitch. Honestly, I really don't have as many consoles, mainly because of space issues. If I'm if I'm uh, honest that's that's the main thing space is my main issue but yeah too many games <laughs> way too many games <laughs> how was uh how was your trip back carrot by the way did you get back all right uh sonic gems collection was on just actually was it on ps2 as well yeah it was ps2 and gamecube hang on i've got it within arm's reach Uh, that one. And it's got Sonic CD, Sonic the Fighters, and Sonic R on it. Oh, and it's got some Game Gear games. It's got Sonic 2 on a Game Gear, Sonic Spinball, Sonic Triple Trouble, Drift 2, Tails Sky Patrol, and Tails Adventure. That, if I can... Oh, actually, I don't really have a way to stream PS2 at the moment. But that would have been a, a good way of doing that. Pretty easy, yeah. Uh, mine wasn't. <laughs> I I ran out of um I ran out of battery pretty much as I left you, so I had to. Sp the whole trip home was in silence, and unfortunately, it took about two hours to get home as well. Yeah, a lot of space space issues, Stitch. Honestly, that's not to mention like collector's editions, which take up fucking huge amounts of space. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, Carrot, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. If you haven't done so, guys, like I said, give give my man a follow. Um, he He's one of my favourite streamers. I don't say that a lot. I really don't. He is actually one of my favourite streamers. It did suck. Yeah, it, it really sucked. I hate spending that amount of time without like music when you're just walking. Really, really bad. <laughs> Kara, I think the th the problem is our our uh, definitions of struggling with space might be very different. Like, my mine's to the point where I could get crushed by games. 
which is a real issue. Uh, so you can see here, by the way, guys, um, I didn't get a good future in Act 2, so Act 3 is fucked as a result. So this is what a level will look like if you don't save the future. So yeah, you want to get those good futures. Listen how creepy this boss music is. It's terrifying, isn't it? I actually can't remember how I meant to like get him here. Oh, there you go. He really should make his machines more robust, shouldn't he? Uh, well, yeah, it's actually from any of the early Sonic games, Carrot. Like, most of the early Sonic games have the little TVs that uh, to, to give you items. I think... Oh, here we go. Look, here's Amy. Amy loves us. Oh, she's bouncing off of us because we've got a shield. No! <laughs> so there, there you go. Plot, bit of plot. Yeah, dude, uh, Stitch, he, he raised two and a half grand for charity. I'd say that is a worthy uh, way to do that. Uh, can I get into the future from here? If I go back up there. And then, yeah, go back down again, perhaps. See if that works. We're going in the future. So, again, you can kind of see how, like, fucked up the future is. And it unlocks that so you can get an extra shield. And the music has changed again. I really, I love that feature. The fact that they just, they've got music for every type of stage in the game. It's great. But yeah, the level design is a little bit abstract. I have to agree with that. <laughs> no, this this one doesn't have a a, a soundtrack from uh, Michael Jackson. No, that is only Sonic Three, I believe. Uh, Carrot. I think Sonic and Knuckles actually used a different composer after the uh, after the problems they had with MJ. Yeah, we're getting a bit abstract now. Oh, really? What? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. See how like much easier it is to like know where you're going though when you've got widescreen. You get so much more time to react to stuff. It's much better. Yeah, I was, I was talking about the whole MJ thing earlier. It was uh, it's a bit of a rough situation because it's now made it. At currently not possible to uh, for Sega to sell Sonic 3 and Knuckles again which really sucks because that's one of the best games ah, here we go let's give this uh, special stage another go 
Yeah, so uh, the, the Mega Drive collection on the current consoles doesn't have the game because there's some kind of copyright issue now. Really, really sucks. Appropriate music. Hold on a sec. Appropriate music is appropriate. Just got to get this last one. I'll be with you. Oh, come on. There we go. Who is that? Rosa, thank you so much. Half a year. That's very kind. And that's actually where the, as you can see, that's where the, the sub gift comes from <laughs> thank you much Lee yes. that's super kind I think that's a new color badge as well I think you've got the I think the red one is for six months plus Dude, this music's so good. I love it. No, that's not where I wanted to go, but sure. Might actually be better to go to the high route. Oh, not sure if I can from there. No. I think you'd have to go to the past, maybe? They, they always have to have like a spring level, don't they? Like, you know, spring yard or... Ah, there you go. That's how you do it. What? Oh, that was actually kind of cool. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. All I want to do is go up there. I could go down there, but the higher path is usually the one you want to take. I don't think there's any way of defeating the machine in the future. I think it has to be in the past or the or the uh well that's it. Just going straight back to the past. Now is this the actual past or is it the present? It's the present, okay. Can I do it again? Build up that momentum. Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's do that. Go to the actual past. So this is what the level should look like when it's not being corrupted. Yeah, they, they usually place the, the machine at the top of the level somewhere. Fuck. Oh, come on! And now I'm right at the bottom. <laughs> Another one of those doodars there. I don't particularly want to go to the future just yet.
Oh no, okay. Doesn't look like we're gonna find that then. No. I mean, if I could get all the time stones, that'd be cool. Oh wow, look at that background. That kind of looks like Sky Sanctuary from um, Sonic and Knuckles. Oh, bastard. Yeah, these, these get a lot harder as they go on. I'm finding myself like moving over the, all over the place now, like physically. Like you play it when you play like a driving game sometimes. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time for this one. Missed it too many times. Yeah. Damn man. Bad times. Right, so yeah, we've got uh, we've got the boss again. What's this one again? Look at look at him, look cheeky little bastard. He's so happy. Gonna have to ruin his day. I, yeah, okay. I didn't want to go that way. I actually wanted to get that, but never mind. Oh, come on! So unfair. Oh, yeah, the boss is in a pinball machine. That is truly nightmarish, this music. I think you just gotta get to the top and hit him. While he's just raining bombs down on you. That's it. He re he's like made the weakest machines in this one. He really has. It's been like two hits. <laughs> Just a coward. Massive coward. What we got now? Tidal Tempest. I've I've heard someone do uh, a Fresh Prince of Bel Air mashup of this song. Actually, oh no, I won't I won't find it because it'll probably get the video flagged. I'll have to post that in the Discord. We got our water level. Everyone loves a water level. This music is sexy, by the way. Super sexy. Did I hit it? I did. Can I get up there? Uh, I guess it's probably opened something down here, right? Yeah. What is that? Giant wasp. I don't remember this music. 
Yo, this sounds awesome. It, it really is amazing how, like, they, they do smash it out of the park as far as the music goes. They really do. Again, although this is a different level, so rather, unlike the Sonic 2 ones, if you fail one, it'll go to the next one in line, and it'll keep cycling around until you until you beat them. Ah, oh, this one looks sick. It's like cyberpunk level. I think you, if you fall down the sides, though, you uh, you lose on this one. Oh man, I can't even hit one. Let's try it. Oh no. How fast are these things? Oh, it's just water. Oh, fucking hell. Really hard to hear. Need more time now. No chance. Wait, why did I lose there? I'm sure I had like 19 seconds left. Unless that was rings I was looking at. They don't give you air. Uh, there's no no bubble shields yet. That wasn't until Sonic 3. Oh, I didn't like didn't like the look of that. I was gonna say earlier, like most of the enemies don't seem like they actually do much in terms of hurting you. Oh, I thought that was fireballs, it's just like pushing you backwards. Come on! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Come on! Thank you! Wait, does it go nowhere? Oh no, there you go. Ah yes, yeah, so I can get into the past with this. Easy peasy. So we can hear what this soundtrack's like. Ooh. I don't know if I like this one as much. The future one sounds awesome. Still sounds good though. Oh, you bastard! I got tricked. Oh, there's there's the machine. Right, so we fixed the future just for this level. So that's what, like two levels now we fixed the future in? Yeah, it's really hard to get the good ending in this. 
It's worth it because you get a different um, end cutscene. Oh man, this music's so good! I don't remember what the boss is in this one. There's, actually, there's only one boss that I remember. I oh, do just have to chase him. Or beat him. Oh, maybe I have to beat him down here. Although it now seems like we're going around in circles. They really like their infinite, like, infinite loops in these games. They really do. I guess I've just got to hit him a bunch of times. And then that looks like that opens up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, no, there is an actual boss to this. I know what it is now. It's the same as that Metropolis boss, basically, but he has uh, air bubbles surrounding him. you just got to breathe them in to be able to hit him. And he fires shit at you, of course. You're too easy otherwise, isn't it? I honestly forgot this, how terrifying this music is. No, my ring! Oh shit. Just cheese it with that one ring. Why does he only take one hit? <laughs> really bad workmanship, Robotnik. Really. So bad. <laughs> Where are we now? Quartz Quadrant. They really knew the, how to pick good names, didn't they? <laughs> See, this looks like it's set in like a diamond mine. What the fuck? Hang on, yeah, you can do that. Change the direction a bit. So you could get into the past a bit easier that way, I think. I tell you what, I do appreciate the fact that there's a lot less bottomless pits in this game. I'm not a massive fan of that design. Can I break through those rocks? Or are they just gonna they're gonna fall? I don't feel like I'm gonna get any more of those time stones at the rate we're going. <laughs> you fell asleep, Mash. Dude, it is late for you. I'm, I'm not surprised. And did you have a nice sleep? What did I drive you to sleep? Because my, my streams are terrible. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying?
felt like I was fighting uh, someone throughout my entire sleep. What, in your dreams? Where do we go? Was it past or future? That'd be past. Kept twisting and turning. Oh. You're too hot or something, dude. You're just not, not getting good sleep at the moment. Really doesn't want me to take the higher path, does it? Making it like at really difficult to actually find the machine to uh, to break it. seem to sleep well these days. Is it, do you reckon there's any reason or like, are you feeling a bit anxious at the moment or something? Yes. I know you've kind of suffered with it for a while haven't you but oh wow this is trippy. Epilepsy warning guys. Combined with me playing. Oh, come on! The perspective's a bit strange in this. Oh, that's why. Okay, so when you step in water, your time drops really quickly. I actually didn't know that. No wonder, like, sometimes the time goes so quick. No chance. Right, now that I know that, I'm going to avoid the water. No idea what's going on. I don't really know what to suggest, dude. Apart from like, um, do you get a lot of um, like exercise, like walking or anything like that? To find like going for like a really long walk will make you tired. Yes. yes! Now, I think I remember this boss. It's quite clever if it's the one I think it is. Yeah, so the way to defeat this boss is you see that like, he's scraping along the, the, the ground now. You've just got to keep going until the bottom of that machine scrapes out. So you can't, as you can see, that you can't actually catch up with him. Oh, but if you run faster, it grinds it quicker too. I think that's how it is. Ah, oh, bollocks. I think it's just, I think it's a cool design for a boss. I think he starts to get worried in a sec. Shit. Come on! Yeah, look, he's getting a bit worried now. That's surely it. There you go. Done. <laughs> I love I love that boss. It's a cool, cool idea. It might be Mash. I mean that's that's just a it's just a thought. It might be worth worth doing. Like just maybe go for a walk for a couple of miles, maybe. Um, that'll make you tired quicker. I find it works. It's worked for me in the past. I did a lot of walking, so. 
Uh, this level level has some cool gimmicks in it as well. I think it shows it in the first level. And we got some more funky music. Do you have electric floors though, which I'm not too fond of. Oh no, they're not electric. Okay, they're bouncy. Alright. Oh, those hurt though, I believe. It's very, very abstract. Can I even go up there? Just a bow? Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, piss off! Oh, that's where those things were from. They, they had those in Mania. Yeah, do, have you played it yet, Nash? Did you get it free on uh, PlayStation? Woo, that was close. Yeah, I'm oh, at so good. So good. I think, um, like, you, you appreciate it more if you've played the old ones, but it's still, like, a good platform game. That's clearly that I'm not meant to get up there in the present. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think Mania might be the best one, honestly. Depends if you like 2D platformers. Which I do. <laughs> If that wasn't already apparent. Yeah, I mean, it is a speed runnable game. At the same time, this one is an odd one. Because as as you can see, the, uh, the levels are, are very all over the place. So you'd have to learn the levels pretty well to speed run this one, I think. How do I get out of this? Ah, oh, there you go. Bullshit. I just fell for the same trick. There's nothing there. Alright, great. So it wasn't even worth it. <laughs> Can't really keep up with it. Die here. Ah, oh, there you go. Just get an A ring and you'll be good. Oh, I can't get through there. Oh, 
Oh dear. Mash, what are you playing at the moment, dude? Or are you still just, um, is it the same as last time? Yeah, I'm definitely not getting all the time stones. Trying to play on Crash Team Racing. I thought you said you weren't playing that because it's frustrating as hell. <laughs> you change your mind. Oh, you're playing off stream. Okay, so you're just you're just raging off stream as well. Dude, you should be getting all those rage moments on, like, capturing them on film. They make for good clips. Now, I don't remember what this boss is. Just gotta dodge this bullshit, I guess. Oh. All right. We just got to keep climbing higher, I guess. Fuck! Oh, that stuff doesn't even hurt. Just got to avoid being oh, that wheel, though. <laughs> Unlucky. He's quite fast for a big dude, isn't he? Easier off stream and get performance anxiety. No, no, no. You joke. You put a capper, but that is legit a thing. Like I play much worse off on stream because I'm very aware that a people are watching and b that i have to well, i don't have to but i've got to keep in mind that i need to talk occasionally i relax more it's the same with camera actually like if i have the camera off i relax a lot more I mean, it's not really the worst. I think, like, until people actually stream themselves, they, they don't realise, like, how different it can be to play uh, on, on stream. You're always going to get, like, some goon saying, uh, oh, ah, that's where the machine is, right. But we can't hit it because it's, we're in the present. Yeah, you're always going to get some goon saying, um, like, I don't know. Oh, it's so easy. How do you not know? How do you not know this? You'd be like, you try playing these games on stream, asshole. <laughs> uh, how the fuck do I get through there? Oh. It was as easy as that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't mind if it's like, you know, someone's joking like once or twice about it, but if you keep banging on about it and like telling me how to play the game, you're, you're not, you're not really doing anyone any favours there. There we go. Like anyone can get good at something if you, uh, like, if you, and you can get good at any game if you play it, like, a billion times. You'll never stream games that you really look forward to on stream, honestly. I think you should, because that will come across in your stream as well. I think it's just a case of, like, just don't give a fuck. Like, people like that, just ignore them as best you can. I know that's easier said than done. 
But like, I'll play the game that I want to play it. It's like people getting pissed off at Detroit because I kept reading the books. It's like, I want to read the books, motherfuckers. Let me read the books. I don't care if it fucks my game up. I want to read the books. Don't tell me the mistakes I'm making. I'll make them myself. <laughs> Wow, we're really getting like. How the f where, where the fuck are we meant to go? <laughs> Can I just jump through that? No. I doubt you're even awful, Mash, honestly. I doubt you're awful at games. Am I stuck? I just gotta go back this way. Yeah, probably. Yeah, there you go. It's gonna get dizzy. Back to here again. Wait, am I going around in circles now? Hang on a minute. Go back that way. And then right here. That's the way. Christ almighty! rings yeah I think that's the thing just don't try just try not to care I think it is difficult sometimes like having a bad day and someone just keeps like going on at you saying ah, ah you're shit you're shit you're shit then eventually it's gonna you're gonna get fucked off at the same time if they're that toxic just get fucking rid of them Right, so, this is a bit of a different boss, because it's a race against uh, Metal Sonic. You're basically dodging this this blast from, uh, from Robotnik. Oh shit, yeah, he does do that though. So you've got, uh, you've got, you've got to get ahead of him, but you've got to watch out for that because that will hurt you. It's a bit cheaty. A little bit cheaty. Oh, does that work? Shit! Got him. Get wrecked. And we've got Amy back. Oh look, she, lo she loves us now. <laughs> His face. <laughs> yeah, turn-based RPGs wreck your stream attendance, definitely, Mash, yeah. It's, it's because of the story. Uh, this was also the level I was thinking of that had the cool, uh, cool shit in it, by the way. Amy, stop sexually harassing us. I mean, it's unwanted attention. It is unwanted attention. Whoops. Future. Wait, can you use that, that to do it? Oh. I thought that thing spam. Sonic don't want this attention. That's really hard to build up the momentum there. 
Yeah, this, this is it. This is one of the gimmicks. Oh. No, it's not. That, I think that's Mania, actually. There's bits in Mania where you get flipped into the background. Wow, that was lucky. That wasn't so lucky. But no, yeah, um, our turn-based RPG is absolutely not good for your uh, stream. Because you have to keep in mind that it is uh, all about the story. And if someone misses a session, how the fuck do you get across these that easy? Okay. Yeah, if someone misses a, sh a session, you're either going to have to explain to them what's happened or um, they're just going to give up. Here's the long and the short of it. Sonic's too cool for Amy. I wouldn't say that, Skull, you know. I don't think, you know, people can shoot above their, like, shoot above their, their weight as far as that kind of stuff goes. What's Sonic's favourite food? Chili dogs! <laughs> Probably drugs. Or steroids. Yeah, I, I don't I think it I don't think it was great, Mash, uh, Dragon Quest for my attendance. Which is kind of the reason why I've picked a shorter like shorter games to do recently. Because if people don't like them, they just have to wait like a week and I'll be done with it. <laughs> Get in the future. But it is hard not to like want to stop on certain games. I can't lie there. Past. Uh, no, I've got I've got Sekiro to play. I just wasn't. Uh, I'm not up for that kind of game at the moment. Oh damn it, man! You reckon? As Witcher wouldn't do it. I I actually played um, Witcher before I streamed. How the fuck do you get up there? I don't think I've died. I'm not saying it. I'm not going to jinx it again. Shit, man. It's a really shit bit to get stuck in. Wait, what? How the hell do you get out of here? Is it something to do with that? I am really stuck. Right. I, I suppose the good thing about Witcher is you uh, like all of the side quests are as interesting to watch as the main quest. So even if you haven't kept up with the main story you can still get some enjoyment out of it. <sighs> I might actually die here due to timeout. Does that really not work? Oh my fucking god! Okay, this is this is bad. This is bad. Cause these oh shit man! Like, I hated those things in Sonic 1, I could never get them right. Oh, 
I don't think I could do a uh, Witcher on stream again though. That was that was a long time. That that took so long to do. And that was like off stream. So I didn't even have to worry about having to like make sure I'm just talking to people. Oh, this is fucking the shittest ever. <laughs> Don't it? Oh. oh my god. I like this is really making me angry. <laughs> this just sucks. It just really sucks. I don't have to have to get over into the corner there. If it's something to do with that switch. Like, does it open up that other bit? Okay, not spinning, not speeding yourself up seems like it might be the best way. Fuck! What's up, Tron? You've joined me at a very bad time. <laughs> Is uh, CD your favourite, dude? Why did I fly off the end there? Where the fuck do I go? Is that a timed switch? Or something. Oh, it goes back in there. Wow. That was the best. Okay, you have to stand in kind of the middle. Can I go across this way? Or am I just going backwards? Second Sonic and Knuckles 3, right. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, sorry. Yeah, can I just go down the bottom here? Like, or is that going to take me back where I just went? Ah, oh, okay. Different. Oh no, that's that's going back towards where I just was. God, this is like a maze, this level. That's new. Tron, I, I showed you the version where it's just they replace every word with knuckles, right? I think I showed you that one. So yeah, this is this is one of the gimmicks. You just sort of go into the background, which I thought was kind of cool. It, you know what? It's really strange, but everyone seems to know the Knuckles song. I didn't even listen to it that much, but I, I just remember it. really strange. Well, most of it, anyway. Not all of it. Who dat? Yo, why is with the massive support tonight? Random. Thank you so much, dude. Um, prepare to see the worst Sonic uh, gameplay on... I was going to say YouTube there. On Twitch. How you doing, man? Is that by hand noir? Welcome. Blitchy! <laughs> there you go, look, Blitchy. I got it right this time. Right. ADHD Unicorn. Wow, they, these are some really good names, guys. Like, no, I actually mean that. That sounded sarcastic. It really is, like, good shit. Um, yeah, guys, welcome. Lovely to see you. Random, how was your stream, dude? 
Like massive amount of support tonight. But there he is. I knew, I knew I, I could feel it in my fucking bones that he was gonna uh, he was gonna do that. <laughs> Guys, please give uh, random British dude a follow if you haven't done so already. The man is a legend. He's been playing Deus Ex, which I haven't played, but I played it. Never finished it. He's got very good taste in games. That man he really does. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name is Sound Shower. You can call me Sound or Tom. I uh, have a lot of games. I'm a variety streamer like Mr. Random British Dude as well. Uh, I have I have about 2,100 physical games on multiple platforms. Not not many machines, but a lot of games. And uh, yeah, on Sundays I do Sonic Sundays. So we're kind of going through the series in um, release date <laughs> order. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I stream five days a week currently. So if you'd like to come and see me and random isn't on, feel free to come and uh, come and see me. I love to be showered with sounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm showering my myself with sounds via earphones right now. <laughs> also, uh, random, I was going to ask you, dude. Um, I don't know if you saw, it was Twitch London yesterday. They do these kind of like meetups every, seems to be every half a year now. Who's that? Who's that? ADHD Unicorn. Thank you very much for the follow. I very much appreciate it. Uh, but I was going to I was gonna say, are you, are you near London? Would you be able to get along to one of those? Because it'd be cool to meet you. Sonic Sunday, Von. You like a bit of Sonic, don't you? Oh yeah, we don't want to go there. It's a dead end. Yeah, so we're... This is the... Actually, how far are we in now? Uh, we've done Sonic 1 on the Mega Drive, Sonic 1 on the Master System, Sonic 2 on the Master System, Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive, and then this Sonic CD is the fifth game. You hate it? Lovely! <laughs> He's currently stretching and screaming into a void. Is he stuck in advert hell? Or something. Or what going on? That's a big bomb. Oh, that's your routine after stream, okay. It's all about food for me. Let's get a bit of food. Man, I've no I'm back to the start of the fucking stage. Where do I go? <laughs> about if we just go right down to the bottom? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, a bit of food. Go for a bit of a wee wee. I'm getting so lost in this level, dude. It's unreal. Okay, can I go? Yeah, no. If I go this way, I get I get back to that room again, don't I? I got stuck in. Yeah. Yeah, random. I, sorry, I don't know if you uh, if you got that, but have you ever considered going to uh, one of the Twitch meetups in the UK? It's be cool to meet you, dude. I would say like I'll uh, I'll treat you to a pint, but treat you to a pint of tea maybe. Where do you go? I'm running out. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna run out of time. Actually, gonna run out of time. <sighs> Bloody hell! I actually don't mash. I haven't been once yet. I haven't been once, and we're five hours in. Masterful game design. This sucks, dude. I'm not. I'm not a fan of this level at all. I'm really not sure where to go here. Nah, 
unless maybe if I go into the like, future or something, it'll be easier to navigate. Because currently, this is uh, a nightmare. Yeah, look, I'm back here again. That that whole area is just no go. Oh, oh shit! Hang on. Aha. Yes. No. Oh, I have been here before, but. Oh, okay, right. No, I think we're making progress, though. Yeah, that, that uh, laugh for the time over is terrifying, isn't it? Okay, this looks like progress. Maybe. Ouch. How do you go through there? Is there a way to drop? Yeah, I thought I could get through there. No. Come on! So I can get back up here. Oh, hang on. Wait. No, this looks like a way forward. Oh, I want to get into that. So I can show you something cool. We want to get into the beam. Am I too quick for you? Oh, come off it. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, it's disappeared as well. Oh, my God. I actually didn't know this thing was from this game. Because this is another thing they brought back for Sonic Mania. But it was used in a different level. I believe it was used in Lava Reef Zone. Here you go. Babby Sonic! Look at him! He's so babby! <laughs> I love Babby Sonic. Uh, what's that, Tron? Where am I from? But where are you? Oh, where are you from? Battle Mash. His eyes retain their size. Yeah. Yeah, they're a little bit big. This this is a maze. This level it really is. Just going around in circles, isn't it? Oh no, I did have to go up that way. What the hell? I don't think there's. This is the, the one of the most cryptic levels I've ever done. I don't remember it being this difficult to navigate. Yeah, it's just going in a circle. Oh, do I, can I go this way? Get big, big boy again. Oh, is that a follow? That's the problem with playing this game. 
I feel like the follow noise is exactly the same as a ring collection noise. <laughs> Noir, thank you for the uh, follow. I really appreciate it. Put your feet up. Enjoy your stay. Are you a film of uh, Are you a film of Noir? Are you a fan of Noir films? <laughs> We were invaded by Britain, if that counts. Hey, back in the day, we invaded everyone. Back in the day. Mash has a very, like, he's got very good, uh, he speaks very good English. I'd say he could pass as being English. Very well spoken, Mash. Very well spoken. Ah, oh, thank God. Just found not more combat. That's where I took the. Uh, is it is it by by hand, right? Uh, Tronster is our resident Mortal Kombat fan. Actually, he, well, he's our he's our fighting game man. Wow. You're going to play me like that game. Uh, sorry, M MK11, they pronounce it Behan, but they've also pronounced it Byhan, so either way goes, right? <laughs> they can't, they can't decide on their canon. I, I, I assume if it's like Behan was in MK11, that's probably the canon they've settled on, I guess. Wow. Oh my god, they've, oh, they have got bottomless pits. Oh no. I hate bottomless pits so much. I think I could... Can I fly up there? Yeah, okay. That might be a better way of doing it. Might be less bottomless pits up here. Oh. Never mind. Yeah. I mean, like, America's a bit strange in that it is essentially English people in the grand scheme of things. Uh, uh, oh, thank God for that. I think this is the boss, is it? I mean, obviously not anymore, but... Oh, I think I know what this uh, boss is. I was just saying, can you, come, can you drop down a little bit lower, please? Thank you. Oh no, not two of them. Mm! <laughs> Here we go. Is this, actually, is this the last boss? I don't know. How am I meant to hit him? So those things next, like the, the square bits are blades, I think. Just gotta get like one clean hit in. That would have been it, I guess.
That's my mummy. <laughs> Bottomless Pit was your nickname in high school, Mash. Hey, I, I was probably about the same, actually. I could I could eat, like... Wait, my screen went uh, blank for a second there. Um, I, I could just eat anything I wanted. <laughs> Worst last boss ever. Uh, I, um, I don't know about that. I'll have to see. Oh, shit. So that's, that's kind of what you've got to do. Just take a hit and then... Oh. Yeah, bad, bad. It's bad times. Bad times. The greed was real. Can I jump on those? No. I've just got to wait, I guess. Oh! Throwing in a random diagonal one. Dr. Eggman got served. <laughs> There's Amy. I think we get an animated ending. Yep. I'll just crank this music up because it's fucking sick. Uh, we're not going to get the good ending though, sadly. That is a weird last boss, actually. Like, really quite easy. He's got the time stones, but... Sonic has a rock. Mate, Sonic should play ba baseball with a throw like that. And yeah, you get it like a little little like animation there at the side. I, I love the way he looks in the uh, in those animations. Super good. Wish they kept him looking like that. Yeah, he just killed him. He, like like obliterated him with a rock, thrown at supersonic speed. Yeah, this this song's a fucking banger. Classic Sonic's a hundred times better than modern Sonic. I I prefer classic Sonic one, but I still like modern Sonic. I just think he looks cooler when he's like stubbier, like this. Like specifically, this design looks like way better. Internet, how's it going, dude? Long time no see. He's more likable as a little cutie. I, I think he's more likable when he doesn't speak, honestly. <laughs> but that's a personal thing. I, I like it when he looks like he's just, like, he just looks cool. And then when he opens his mouth, he's kind of just a bit cringe a lot of the time. Like the Sonic says stuff, I, I, that's a bit different. Like he has to talk in a cartoon, I guess. I just I don't really want him talking in the games. Like the Sonic start, says stuff is like it's classic though. It's like the GI Joe stuff. Yeah, Blitchy, I, I liked the um, that one as well. Like I, I, we never got, we didn't really get Sat AM over here. Uh, you know the semi-serious one. Well, the serious one. I, I, we only got the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, which is like the comedy one, and I really, really like it. Really like it. You can forgive, forgive his giant eyeball when he's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here you go. 
try again. See, unfortunately... Oh, see you next game. We unlocked Tails in Sonic CD. So this is specifically for this, like the newer version, the re-release. Uh, they added Tails into the mix. Adventures of Sonic, yeah. I, I really liked Adventures of Sonic. Uh, and uh, you know the guy that voices him uh, was born on my birthday. It was meant to be, clearly, wasn't it? Meant to, totally meant to be. His single giant eyeball with two pupils. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen the, uh, I've seen the jokes about that. Are you telling us you're Sonic? No, I'm just saying it's fate, you know. Plus, um, oh, what was the other comparison? Oh, I like, I really liked Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and James Avery, who played Uncle Phil and the Shredder was also born on my birthday as well. Yeah, the Japanese, uh, both soundtracks are great internet. I've had to use the um, English one, but that's, yeah, you've got a totally different soundtrack for uh, Japan and Europe. Haven't unlocked any of that yet. Yeah, there you go, guys. A bit of Sonic CD. Um, I think I only died once, didn't I? Oh, twice. That that bottomless pit killed me as well. Didn't even save scum. Hey, maybe I'm getting better. <laughs> maybe when a game actually has save points, it's maybe a bit more fair. I don't know. But I, I really like this one. I I don't know where I'd put Sonic CD. I, I, I'd like to say it's in my top five with... Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Mania and Sonic you know what I think actually playing this I think I might like this better than Sonic 2 I'm not sure not sure 